Hey YouTube, it's Alicia here, and I'm coming to do a WWE video. I'm going to be talking about a lot of things, especially for the women's division, give you my opinions on things, and I got to start off with some big things that I just heard off of, um, I think it's Wrestling Hub, and um, y'all know my deal with Wrestling Hub, I don't truly care for them but i'm just gonna go on and report on this so maybe it will get afforded um but one of the things is i wanted to come and talk about is sasha banks as y'all know sasha banks has been out of action since wrestlemania since her and bailey lost the women's tag team titles all right i'm not trying to bring nothing up but i'm trying to not bring the sourness up but What's going around now, thanks to Wrestling Hub, is she's getting a multi-million deal um, for on her contract. I think it, they said it's a seven figures, and um, and I, I think it's yeah, I think it's seven figures, and I don't think it's also for seven years. Now, to me, I feel like Sasha should have been had a contract like this in the beginning of last year. Because I think May of last year, she signed a new contract. And I got, and I'm going to mention some things that kind of coincide that why I feel like she should have been, have had a multi-million deal contract. Number one, Sasha Banks is connected to the music world. Why? Thanks to, well, I, not her uncle, her cousin, Snoop Dogg. She is the cousin of Snoop Dogg. That should I mean, that, I mean, I'm not saying that is, it should be a factor, but she has the connection that the music that they use. Oh, she has that connection to help WWE get the music that they want for like things for like WrestleMania, Extreme Rules, um, Stumping Ground, SummerSlam, you name it, she's do it. Now, another thing is I feel like would probably make more sense when Sasha Banks' husband, who is also a former wrestler, started designing her outfits. They, WWE also hired him to design, help design the other female wrestlers in men outfits. Okay. If she doing that, she's his wife. You should have been and gave her a big deal like this a long time ago. So, I want to hear your thoughts on that. Let me hear from you and give me your point of view. Now, the other thing I really need to come and talk about, I, I have talked about it in other videos, but I want to come and talk about the 24-7 champion. So, when the 24-7 champion was introduced, I noticed the fans wasn't not too pleased. Since then, the champion, I feel like that 24-7 champion has, you know, gradually made WWE what it is, even though our truth hold it. Now, from what I know from back in the day, Jacqueline is the only woman that has held that title belt. And I did a poll on my... um. Facebook, uh, excuse me, not Facebook, on my Twitter channel, uh, Alicia Burton 8 on Twitter. And um, I did this question. I asked them if any woman could um, hold that 24-7 champion, who would it be? And I said, Tamina, Naomi, Charlotte Flair, or Nia Jax. Do y'all know? With 29%, everybody agreed and said none other. Tamina should hold it. Coming in with 28% would be Naomi and uh, Charlotte Flair. And rounding it out with 14% will be Nia Jax. Okay, I can see these three women holding the title belts. But I get it. I, I see none other Tamina more holding that title belt. And let me hear from y'all. Do y'all want to see a woman win that title belt from our truth that is the question 
<laughs> All right, so now the big thing. Um, I been wanted to. Um, I've done it once, but I want to come back and revisit this story. Um, this once once again, as y'all know. Um, I've been noticing a lot of things that Vince McMahon does on the WWE, and I don't know if some of y'all have noticed it or not, but I have been noticing that Vince McMahon has a certain type of female that he loves to push. Now, when I mean a certain type, it is not a it's not a it's not a type like me. It's not an Asian type. It is not a type. He has a certain type of female he likes to push. So let's go over some of the um, type of women that he pushes now. He pushes Charlotte Flair like I don't know what. Because she's the daughter of Ric Flair and everybody trying to say, oh, I did a poll about her and I'm going to get to that in a minute. So I just say Charlotte Flair, Lacey Evans, and Alex Bliss is none other a lot is a is the three women at the moment that they are pushing so push 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 to get me to say this man is trying to push alex bliss back into that contention for on smackdown as the women's champion i see what he's trying to do and i'm finna tell y'all that's what he's trying to do he wants bailey to lose that title belt Bailey is not the same Bailey that we have seen from years past. And I just feel like Vince McMahon is just taking it too far. He's taking it. He's like, right now, I feel like, like I'm going to say, he's taking it a little far, y'all. And I, what I mean, he's taking it a little far is like, he wants, but he don't want Bailey to have that title, but I can see that. To get me to say, these three has been pushed too much over the years. If you think about it, Charlotte Flair is always in a title contention. Why he don't actually just push, push her down to the bottom and let these other women go for it. Same thing with um, um, Alex Bliss. Um, I don't truly care for Alex Bliss. I'll give her, I'm gonna give the women a sense. They got skills. But I just feel like it's just time for them to go to the bottom and let the ones on the bottom um, and the um, middle ways and that bottom to come rise up because it's their time now. And then, and then with Lacey Evans, I'll give it to it. She's good. But I know for a fact, none other. And all three of these girls I have noticed from Charlotte Flair, from Charlotte Flair to Alexa Bliss, to Lacey Evans, that's not counting the champions. These three women has botched a lot lately. They have I have seen it. They have botched a lot lately, and that's that. I'm, that's all I have to say about that. Now I want to get on Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. Why is it that they have not? They keep winning um, their title belt opportunities. Because, well, not opportunity to keep holding that title belt. It's several times they should have lost the title belt. But thanks to Paige, we might get it. The Kambuki Warriors, as in uh, Kairi Sane and Asuka, if they win their match over in Japan, then that means none other against Billy Kay and Peyton Royce over in Japan, they will get a title shot. So I have to go back and see if they won that title, that opportunity for that title shot. Because if I, if this is would be just me, I will make my women's champions defend those title belts at every time, at all costs, if all the way through the week. You don't have no break. And to me, I feel like this, it was, it was. Uh, amped up, but now it's not no more. And it's like they are just holding that title belt. Um, I will give them. I give them credit what credit is. They're good on the mic. I will give them that. But they wrestling skills needs a lot. And when I say a lot of work, that's that. Now, moving right along, I want to come and talk about a few female wrestlers. Now, the first two I want to talk about. I want to talk about Naomi. And um, Amber Moon. When I see Naomi and Amber Moon, these two beautiful African American women, 
um, I want to see them wrestle each other, but we won't ever get to see that. Because I just feel like they have the quality to wrestle each other and to be in the top, top of the women's division. Top African-American women to be in the top in women's division. Are we, I don't know if we're going to ever get to see that, but that, I can see that. But the other thing is they are so similar. Not They're so athletic. It's so unforgettable. These are two African-American women that high flies. Back in the day, we did not see that. Now, they are mommy so much of Lita. It is it is phenomenal. You can see it there. They uh, mind me of Lita. I don't know if everybody else see it, but they mind me of Lita and everything. And I just like, I see it. I just see Lita in them. Now, when it comes to Ruby Riot, I see something. I don't think everybody see what I see. Ruby Riot reminds me of Victoria. I'm sorry. I have to say it. She reminds me of Victoria. She's bold. She's passionate. I know she's out on injury leave, but I know for a fact if she comes back, she do not need to put the Riot Squad back together. It just needs to be her. And I think she could be a top female superstar as well. But she does remind me of, yeah, of that. Now, um, oh my God, let me see who else. And last but not least, it's only one person I need to talk about. And I'm going to say this. It's no one in the WWE at the moment that reminds me of Trish. I'm sorry. Nobody reminds me of Trish. I'm just sick and tired of people saying, oh, I'm just sick and tired of people saying Mandy Rose reminds them of Trish Stratus. I'm sick and tired of it. Nope. I don't see it. She don't have it. She might have sort of like Trish Stratus type like look but Mandy Rose is somebody I feel like she has good skills but she needs to be she needs to work on it now Sonya Duvall is somebody I see that she kind of I don't know if everybody will agree with me she might mind she reminds me of Beth Phoenix I'm saying it she reminds me of Beth Phoenix and it's just it's just crazy. And I, I just, for years, I just did not know why Dana Brooks was being pushed. And I have two reasons why I think for so many years why Dana Brooks was not given that push. And I want to see if y'all will agree with me. I feel like uh, Vince and Triple H won't push her or just give her little opportunities, little windows to make sure she loses that Dana Brooks, they don't care about Dana Brooks' career or Dana Brooks remind them too much of Joni Lawler. And I actually will agree with the second part. I feel like Dana Brooks does remind me of Joni Lawler, just her physical attributes and everything. She has a lot what it takes to be a top superstar. And I'm just going to say this. I just want to see what y'all diva women say. And the question of the day is, do you think the reason Vince McMahon won't push Dana Brooks is because she reminds, him, reminds Vince McMahon and Triple H and Stephanie and the whole McMahon family remind them of Joni Lawler? That is the question. Do Dana Brooks remind y'all of Joni Lawler? Y'all, that is it for none other. The WWE Women's Division. Until then, I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Comment below. And